Hey guys, welcome to Cooking the Weeds. When you hear of liver and onions, is this your reaction? Well, today I'm making liver and onions you will want to eat. That I promise you. So let's just get to it. Okay, guys, here we go. Liver and onions. This recipe is definitely going to be a game changer for you. So be sure to stick with me for this one. Here's what I have going on right here. This is calves liver, okay? Not beef liver. Calves liver is much sweeter than beef liver. Beef liver has that very metallic-y iron taste. And a lot of the old school recipes call for soaking the beef liver in milk to remove that. However, with the calves liver, we don't have to do that, okay? So the secret to this is a really good marinade. Okay, you can marinate pork, marinate chicken. So let's get right into this right here. We're gonna start with about two thirds a cup of Chardonnay. A little white wine vinegar. Black pepper. Kosher salt. Bay leaves. And last but not least, onions and garlic. What we want to do is we want to work this right around in here. And we want this to marinate in the refrigerator for as long as possible. If you can let this go overnight, perfect. If you're pressed for time, I would say two to three hours. And this just gives the liver such an amazing flavor. Okay, so we're going to put this in the refrigerator, let it marinate, and we'll get on to the next. Okay guys, here we go. So I've had the calves liver marinating for about four hours. And like I mentioned earlier, the longer the better. So we're gonna get this ready to go, super hot cast iron pan. We're gonna cook it hot, fast, and quick because these cutlets are so thin, they're gonna take literally no time to cook. Okay guys, here we go. Now it's time to cook our liver. Super hot pan. We're gonna hit it with some butter. Work that around in here. Now, our marinated liver is so thin, we're gonna cook this literally 15 seconds each side. You do not wanna overcook liver. The minute you overcook it, just forget about it. All right, right there, another clip. Oh, does that smell good. I wish you guys could smell this. All right, we're going to finish up the rest, and then we're going to get back to the onions and the marinade. Okay, guys, so the liver's done. We seared it quick and fast. It's hanging out on the side, staying warm. Now what we want to do is we want to take our marinade. Get all that in there. Oh, yeah. Does that smell good. And we're going to continue to cook this. Medium low heat, let it reduce by half. Okay guys, this has been going a couple minutes, medium low heat. Be sure to scrape off the bottom of the pan, get all the flavor in there. I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit more wine and some butter. We'll let it go another five, seven minutes. Okay guys, so this has been going about five minutes. Low heat, I turn it down. Now we're gonna put some parboiled red potatoes in here. And all you do with the parboiled potatoes is basically just cut them, boil them a couple minutes. Oh, next, not a couple minutes, five, seven minutes. All right, I'm gonna let those hang out right there. Let these go for a few more minutes. All right, guys, here we go. So the potatoes been going for a while. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our liver, take some liver, our liver cutlets. We're going to throw those right in here, a couple more, just like that. The juice, we're going to shut off the burner. Cover, two minutes. Okay guys, here we go. So we'll plate it up our liver and potatoes. Last but not least, we're just going to kind of hit it with some juice on the top, pan juice. Oh yeah, just like that. Okay, there it is. Does this smell outstanding? 
Let's get into it. Okay, guys, here we go. This is outstanding recipe, and this is cooked perfect. The smell alone is just enough to... Oh, so let's just get right into it. Mm. That is outstanding. The sweetness of the calf's liver. It's tender. Oh, guys, you are going to love this recipe. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Till next time, cooking the weeds.